Hey guys, what's up? It's Cameron here from Unexclusive Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Zoms Mod Pack, uh, but I'll be showing you how to install the flying component of the Zoms Mod Pack uh, to Minecraft Beta 1.1. Um, but if you're watching this video at a later date and I've changed the title to a different mod, I'll update the download links and it'll be the exact same install process for any of the future updates to Minecraft, so not to worry, it'll work for you. Alright, so there's going to be three things that you're going to need for this mod to work. Uh, one of them being the Zoms mod file that you download off their Minecraft forum post. I'll put a link in the description below where you can download that. Uh, you're going to need the MC Patcher HD. I'll put a link in the description where you can download that. Load that. And you're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip, um, so just an archiving program. Now, once you have those on your desktop, the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up MC Patcher and run. And then it'll open up this and start analyzing your Minecraft jar. Um, and it should already be default defaulted to your Minecraft folder, so you're not really going to have to worry about that because it'll already be ready to go. So just click all these right here. Just make sure that they're all checked, and then click Patch. And it'll start patching it. It should only take a second, and once it's done with that, you can exit out, and now your Minecraft is patched. That just allows HD texture packs and better, you know, um, fonts and all that kind of stuff. So not not to worry about that. It's just that. All right, next thing you want to do is go to your Zoms mod pack folder right here. Right click on it and hit Extract All. This will just extract all the files out of there into an open folder, so that we can drag them out. Now, once you've done that, you're done with your zip folder, so we can move that to the side. Next, head down to your Start menu, type in percent app data. Yeah, percent and hit enter and it should open up your roaming folder then head directly into your dot minecraft folder which should be the first one next go directly to your bin folder and then go to your minecraft 1.1 folder which was created by mc patcher and open that with winrar or with 7-zip if you're using that next just go into this meta inf folder right here and just delete that so right click and hit delete files um, that just prevents mods from working, so we're going to want to delete that or this mod will not work. So, Also, if your Minecraft is open, you're going to need to close it or that won't delete it out of there. So make sure that Minecraft is closed when you're going to delete that. Uh, once we've done that, we're done with the 1.1 jar. We can go to our regular Minecraft jar and open that with WinRAR or 7-Zip also. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to go back to our Zoms mod pack folder and go to the Classes folder, which is the first folder in there. Just grab all the folder, the files in there and drag them into your Minecraft jar. They're all class files, so just drag them directly in there. Now once we've done that, we're actually done with our Minecraft jar, so we can exit out of there and head back into just our bin folder right here, or we can back out to our .minecraft folder. Now once we've backed out there, we're going to go to New. We're just going to right-click, go to New, and then create a new folder and name it Mods, all lowercase letters, so M-O-D-S, lowercase. And then go into that folder, which is the mods folder we just created, and create another folder and name it Zombie. So Z-O-M-B-E, lowercase letters, and hit enter. Now open up that folder. Okay, now this is the last step, or the second to last step that you're going to need to do. Go back to your Zombs mod pack folder and go to the config uh, folder and grab all these text documents and drag them into the Zom folder, which is in your mods folder. Now the mod's actually installed, but it's not yet enabled, so we're going to want to go to our config text document, open that, just like left click on it, double tap, and it should be open. So once you have it open up, you're going to want to go down to this part right here, which says fly mod, aka flying. Now this is where you're going to want to delete this numeric symbol that's right in front of this mod fly enabled. You're just going to want to backspace and delete that number right there. That's all you have to do. And then you can just set what you want to be your flying thing. So I'm going to set B to turn fly on and Z to turn it off. And I need to change this right here to Y. Sure, I'll do Y not. Why not? Change it to Y. Uh, you see what I did there? Okay, yeah. Okay, and then I'm just going to click Save so that it saves these changes that I made. Now once I've done that, I can exit out and we can go to our Minecraft folder. And this mod should be working. So let's click Run. We'll log in. Alright, go to single player, new world. It should generate our world for us. And then once we're in here, we can just go ahead and lag like a stupid computer because it's recording and hit B. And once we've hit B, it'll say flying right in the corner up there. And you can use your little thing right. Yeah, okay, there we go. I was like, which one did I change it to? To change it to this, and you can fly around your world like a boss. This is really great for filming like videos and stuff, and it's pretty cool mod overall. I think it's one of the better mods in Minecraft. I think it's essential if you're not in creative mode. Um, so this is pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope that you'll leave a thumbs up 
on the video because it does help me out a lot. Um, if this helped you out and you installed this mod correctly using this video, that'd be great if you could leave a thumbs up on the video. Also, leave a comment below letting me know if you have any questions or just letting people know, hey, this mod worked. I mean, this in this tutorial worked, and also the files down below aren't viruses because I know a lot of people freak out about that. But I mean, come on, look at my views. I got a, I got a ton of trust trusted viewers that know that my files are legit so go down there you know you can download all the stuff in the description below and if you want to leave a like down there and leave a comment you can that'd be awesome and also if you want to subscribe i upload videos of tutorials and also gameplay videos from modern warfare 3 and stuff like that so anyways thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you in my next one see ya